Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you more three color blend color combinations. And today we are gonna be using the 144 set of Black Widow pencils. I'm going to be using different colors from all of the different sets because of course I do have all of them. We all need all the sets, right? <laughs> all the colors. So if you've not already seen my video where I actually put all of the sets into perfect color family order, I will make sure that is linked in the upper right hand corner. And I will also make sure that all of the previous videos I've done where I've brought you color combinations is also linked in the upper right hand corner so that you can find those previously over the last I believe the last week or the last couple weeks, I did one for Prismacolors, and a couple days ago, I posted one for the 120 square Brute Fooner colored pencils. And this sheet here that I'm using, if you would like to grab this sheet before you start going through the video and watching me put all of these colors together, you can grab this in my new Etsy store. I will have the link down below in the description box below so that you can easily find it. I have a lot more things coming to my Etsy store. I'm very excited about it. Right now, I'm working on a fabulous interactive workbook that is gonna be a complete visual tutorial showing you how to put together color blends and learn how to add more colors to your initial three color blends. And it's just an amazing full tutorial workbook that is interactive, that has spaces for y'all to practice and follow my examples. It's going to be so amazing. I've put so much work into this and I've done it and redone it and edited it and changed it and done so many things. <laughs> And it was supposed to be out in my Etsy store yesterday, but it is a lot of work and it's going to take me a couple more days, but that is coming. But for right now, you can get this sheet here. So pause the video, go grab your color combination sheet, come back to the video, and you can swatch out these color combinations with me. If you check the description box down below, you will always find links down there for my Facebook group, as well as my email list and my Patreon. And of course, now I'll always have a link down there for my Etsy store. I have so many plans for my Etsy store and so many things coming. You guys are going to be blown away. I can't wait to get a full Etsy store with lots of content in there for y'all and tutorial type work workbooks and uh, color combination workbooks. I'm also currently working on a huge workbook that is going to include tons of Prismacolor combinations, more combinations that you have probably ever, ever seen. I'm only on the reds right now, and I am going down the list with each pencil and combining all of the colors that go together with each pencil. It's going to be fabulous. So be on the lookout for that. That I still have quite a bit of work ahead of me for that one as well. So let's go ahead and get into swatching out these three color blend color combinations. I think I have most all of my pencils um, sharpened nicely with my Dull 133. You guys know that it's my favorite sharpener, but I prepped before the video and I put together lots of color combinations, so I'm really excited about this. I may have to pull some more, but the top of our color combinations is going to be a lot of monochromatic color combinations with maybe a few very different combinations uh, thrown in as we get towards the middle. And then I wanna try to pull some of the colors that I used and put those together as I fill the rest of the sheet. So we'll see how that goes. My first color combination is going to be a beautiful shade of red, and then I've got a gorgeous bright, bright pink, and then a light pink, which is actually called light pink. And 
I'm going to tell you as I go through these colors and lay them down on the paper which set they came from because as most of you know there are 144 Black Widow colored pencils but they each come in different sets so I think that it's probably best if I go ahead and let you know which set it came from and I actually had the camera on and started filming and didn't realize that the camera wasn't on so I've already laid down my Blood Diamond and the Blood Diamond is from the Cobra set. I'm using the Spring Hill paper, like I always do. And I know there's been a lot of questions as to whether or not I use the 80-pound uh, uh, Spring Hill paper or the 67-pound Spring Hill paper. And honestly, I use both. Right now, I'm using the 80-pound Spring Hill paper because I find it works better with the Black Widows. So this color is Fairy Floss and it is from the skin set and I'm going to add this one in here with my blood diamond look how pretty that is and the next color is light pink and this one is from the monarch set if you all buy any set the monarch set is beautiful if you had the monarch set and probably the first set that was released the actual Black Widow set and you added those colors in together, you would probably have a really good selection of colors to choose from. And there's so many beautiful pastels in the Monarch set. It's an amazing set. I think it's probably one of my favorites, but to make it work, you really need some of the colors from the other sets so that you've got enough colors to blend together look how pretty this combination is and as you can see I'm going the opposite direction just to fill some of that white of the paper and show you all the actual pigment from these pencils and how bright and vibrant and beautiful they are these are one of my favorite pencil sets okay so let's go ahead and write in the colors that we used and on these pencils they do all let me hold this a little bit closer to the camera but you can see that they all also have a number on them as well. But I'm not going to write the number down. I'm just going to write their names. They all have a number and a name. So the next one that I have for you is going to be oranges. But I've got, I don't know, I have a little bit of a variation here because I've got this color Ladybug, which is a beautiful red color. So I've got Ladybug, which is from the Black Widow set. So that's the original set. And then I've got Burnt Orange, which is from the Scorpion set. And Toadstool, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And that is from the Black Widow set as well. So the uh, Toadstool and the Ladybug, that is from the first original set. So let's go ahead and lay this one down. That is such a pretty color. It's like a reddish orange type color. And then I've got Burnt Orange, which I'm going to pull into that. And I'm going to use as my mid-tone. And I have Toadstool. And this one is a little bit different, this color combination, but it is so, so pretty. Now let's come back and add our colors again in the opposite direction so we can just brighten them up a little bit. And like I did with the last video, I'm only going to lay probably two layers of each one of these colors. Just because it will save time on the length of the video and still bring you all some gorgeous color combinations but look at these pencils like look how just with two layers the colors lay down so nicely and they are pretty pigmented let's go ahead and go on to the next combination that i had set aside and this one i believe this one's a little bit of a mix of teals and greens but we have sky i wanted to be able to use this color because this is my favorite color in the entire black widow set but i've got toxic green which is from the black widow set so we've got more from the original set i'm telling you if y'all just get the black widow set you've got enough colors to be able to blend together and create new colors then i've got everglade and then of course my sky and the sky is from the newer set which is the monarch set so let's go ahead and lay down the darkest green. 
which is toxic green. And this one isn't too dark of a color, but it is beautiful, bright, and vibrant. And then I've got Everglade. Look at these colors when they mix together. Look how pretty. See, this one is a little bit different, and I wanted to be able to bring you some color combinations that were a little bit different. And I'm sort of just mixing some teals in with a green. And don't ever be afraid to do that when you're playing around with your colored pencils because you can put something together that is really beautiful. I love the colors in this set and I'm working on that huge Prismacolor combination book or workbook right now that is going to include a lot more things than just Prismacolor combinations and I'm thinking I might want to do one for the Black Widows as well because I just love these pencils and there are so many combinations you can create from these pencils. The next one is going to be a purple color combination. We're going to put some purples together. Let me see if is one of them kind of blue. No, I think these are all purples. So I've got eggplant, which is a gorgeous dark, dark purple color. And this one came from the Monarch set. So when, if you get the Monarch set, you do get some dark colors, but you get a lot of pastels in there and you get some really beautiful new greens as well. And I will have the links in the description box below for every Black Widow set if you're interested. But then I have Purple Haze, which came from the Cobra set, and then Pastel Purple, which came from the Scorpion set. I believe the Scorpion set may have been the second set and the Cobra was the third. And then they came out with the skin colors, and then they came out with the uh, Monarch set, which was the last one. So here is the eggplant. And then we have the Purple Haze. And then the last one is the pastel purple. Look how pretty. I just kind of brighten that up and put a little bit of a twist on it. And then let's go back and put another layer of our eggplant. This color would be absolutely gorgeous for a flower. And then let's go back again with our pastel purple. Look how beautiful it is when you change the shades of the purples and then you just put a pop of a purpley pink in there. Isn't that beautiful? So we've got eggplant. And then I have purple haze. I hope y'all are doing this along with me every time I do these videos. I know that some of you are because you've shared in my Facebook group Pastel Purple and some of you are even going to my Etsy store and printing out your own color combination sheet and then sharing your own color combinations in my Facebook group. I love it. I'm all about these color combinations right now just because this is so much of what I'm working on right now outside of filming my YouTube videos. And so I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of in the mode and all into these color combinations now. And I think I'm getting a lot of you into these color combinations and creating them as well. <laughs> But that's okay because that's all the fun in our colored pencils, right? Okay, so let's look at this one now. I've got Aquarius from the Cobra set, Ocean from the Monarch set, and another one from the Monarch set, Denim. And these colors are really pretty. So this is a blue combination. Let's go ahead and lay these down. Oops, I didn't sharpen these, but that's okay. Look how gorgeous that blue color is. It's like a really dark teal type blue. So, so pretty. And then we have Ocean. And then Denim is our lightest color. And see, even with this one, I didn't go too light. And the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to explain something. 
um, to you all. So if you lay down these colors and you pick colors that are pretty close to one another, when you start to go back and you add colors to it and you wanna turn this into say a four color blend, then all you would have to do is get an even brighter, more beautiful color and add it in here down at the bottom at the transition line. Let's go ahead and lay a second layer of this color. Which one was this? The ocean color. But there is a little bit of a difference in these colors, but not too much. So yeah, like I said, you just would come back and turn it into a four color blend. They look beautiful together, but when you're putting together your colors, I kind of wanted to do this one to share a blue combination with you, but show you something just a little bit different and explain to you that even if you do that and you don't feel like there is enough of a difference in the values of your colors, you can come back and just add a much lighter color and just add it in here. You could even come in here at the transition line between the, what was this color, Aquarius, between the Aquarius color, did I spell that right? I didn't, I forgot my U. <laughs> but you could come back in here between this transition line on the between the Aquarius and the ocean and you can add another color and you could turn this three color combination into five color combinations and you could just keep coming back and doing all of that over again and just really learning how to add more and more colors together and really get familiar and more comfortable with your color combinations or creating your color combinations. And it's always good to sort of concentrate or focus on one colored pencil set at a time so that you can get familiar with the colors in that particular um, colored pencil set. So the next one that I have, again, I forgot to sharpen some. Okay, so I have, what is my darkest color here? I think they go in this order. So if we look at these, I have Sunset. Oh wait, I think Egg Yolk is the bit, no. Okay, so Sunset I think is my darkest color and then Egg Yolk and then Gold. That's gonna be really pretty. And this one is going to be different. Let's go ahead and lay down the Sunset. Look how pretty that is. And then this one is the egg yolk. This one is from the Black Widow. I don't think I said, but this one is from the Black Widow set. And the sunset is actually from the Cobra set. And now we have the gold, which is also from the Cobra set. But I wanted to do something that was sort of a little bit of a yellow combination and throw in an orange just to make it a little bit different. And I'm gonna come back and just go over this with a second layer. And then again, my mid-tone with a second layer. And then my last color, which was gold. That's a gorgeous color, a beautiful highlight color. I think this one might need a little bit more pigment here. It's actually a fairly light color, but it's great for a mid-tone in this combination. So let's go ahead and write these down. We have Sunset. And then we have Egg Yolk. And Gold. And there is another beautiful color combination. Okay, let's see what we're gonna go on to next. Let's go ahead and do a green color combination again. And this one is different greens than what I did up here for this one. Um, that one was a green sort of mixed in with some like greeny type teal colors. And then of course I wanted to add my sky in there. Let's see what we have for this one. This one might be a little bit more of some mossier greens. I love my mossier greens. So for this one, I have Forest, which is from the Cobra set, 
and then olive green which is from the scorpion set and then apple which is another beautiful green like i told you the monarch set comes with lots of greens lots of greens so if you are into coloring leaves and you want to create more leaf uh, color combinations grab yourself that monarch set so that one was the forest and then I have olive green. Look how pretty. So these are, yeah, more of my olivier greens, mossier greens, however you want to say it. <laughs> I'm making up my own words now, but look how beautiful and bright and vibrant that color is. I love it. Let's go ahead and go over with a second layer. Pull it down here through the transition line into the mid-tone. And then the olive green. And my apple green. So now I have a brown color combination. And if you look at the leads of the pencils, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I was a little bit creative when I did this one, but I've got cinnamon and then I've got an orange here. I'm sort of mixing a brown with an orange and then I'm bringing it into yellow. So this one is going to be really pretty, but I've got cinnamon, carrot, and yellow sand. The cinnamon is from the skin set as well as the carrot. And then I have yellow sand, which is from the scorpion set. And I believe the scorpion set again was the second set that they came out with. So there's our cinnamon. And then I have carrot. Look how pretty. Look how bright and beautiful this orange is. And then I am going to blend that into a yellow. Whoo, look at that yellow, how bright and gorgeous. <laughs> that is a highlight color if I've ever seen one. But see, this is a little bit of a different color combination and I wanted to bring you guys stuff that was a little bit different and not necessarily monochromatic in this video because these black widows they blend together so beautifully and i have put such creative uh, colors together in this set if you've seen some of my previous videos where i colored flowers i have really put these pencils to the test i really really have and they just all the colors just blend together so nicely Let's go ahead and add a little bit more of this color because I really want to get that pigment in there and then start pulling it down. If you really just, um, you know, do this and sort of ease up on your pencil as you pull it down into that transition area right there and then come back over the transition and pull it down and lay more pigment, you will really get your, even your budget friendly pencils to really blend together really well. And then you just continue to keep going back and forth in the different directions. I have a really beautiful combination here. And this one is going to be browns, but it's going to be this brown here, this rattlesnake that is from the Cobra set. This is more of an, a brown that has like a little bit of orange in it. It's a very pretty brown. It's like bright and vibrant. I'll show you once I get it down on the paper. But then I'm mixing it with dark tan and eggshell. Dark tan is from the scorpion set and eggshell is from the skin or the light skin color set. Let's go ahead and lay down the rattlesnake. Look how pretty this color is. Like I said, it's an orangey brown and it's just gorgeous. And then the next color I have is dark tan, which blends together so beautifully with this color. Look how pretty. This color combination would be beautiful for coloring an animal. And this was my eggshell. So let's go back and do a second layer of these colors. And then a second layer of our eggshell. 
So for this next one, I wanted to bring you a gray combination again, just like I did with the 120 Brute Fooder set because I don't usually do that. So I wanted to make sure I brought in some grays and some browns. But I've got medium gray, which is from the Monarch set, light gray, which is also from the Monarch or the Monarch set. And then I have for my mid-tone this color called Spiderweb, which is from the original Black Widow set. So let's go ahead and put these down on the paper and see what these look like. So I've got, is that, yeah, medium gray. And these will be really great for those of you that like to color animals or you've got a page where you've got to color maybe like some kind of stone wall or maybe a little bit of asphalt or cement. Those are just a few ideas for y'all. And then here's my lightest gray. But look how pretty that gray is. That gray is so light and pale that you could almost use it for if you were coloring an object on your coloring page that you were trying to make or give the look that it was white because it is just so light and it's more like a uh, brighter gray. That's a beautiful gray. That's so bright and gorgeous. But yeah, that will make something on your coloring page actually look white around all of the other colors. And then you would just use just a little bit more of a shade just above it to add the shadows and the details that you needed. I'm looking at what, at what we have so far and I'm thinking that maybe we need another blue combination because we've only got the one blue combination and it's a little bit different. So I wanted to do a blue combination that's a little bit different than that one, but I'm still gonna use the denim and I wanna show you what I came up with. So now I have Blue Horizon, well, is that my darkest color? No. So my Blue Moon is actually my darkest color and that is going to be from the Monarch set. And from the Scorpion set, I have Blue Horizon. And then I have another one from the Monarch set, my Denim, which I already used up here. So two of these are from the Monarch set. Let's go ahead and lay down our darkest blue, which is Blue Moon. This is a gorgeous dark, dark, dark blue. I love my dark, dark blues for shadows. Love using blues. And then the next color is going to be Blue Horizon that we're gonna blend into that. And this one's gonna give it a little bit of a pop. And then when we add that denim, if you can see this denim is like a beautiful blue, but it's a little bit of a different shade. And so I'm actually blending three different blues that are all different shades in this combination, but these colors just look so beautiful together. So I've got this blue moon, and I'm laying my second layer down, and then the denim, oh no, not denim yet, oops. Okay, so I've got blue horizon. And then my denim. And now I wanna do a little something. I wanna show y'all how you can, after you are filling your three color blends and you've got a bunch of color combinations all laid out on your sheet like we do now, you can sort of go back to all of the colors that you've already used. I've got all my colors laying over here to the side and I'm just looking at these and thinking, okay, what can I be a little bit daring and sort of put together in hopes that they'll just look good together without even testing the colors. And now that your colors are all laid down on your swatch sheet, you can go back to this and you could sort of see with the visual eye what is going to go well together. Now we all know that reds, oranges, and yellows are all warm colors, so they all go very well together. So what I decided to do is to pull this blood diamond from this color combination here, and then I wanted to mix it with an orange and then go into a yellow. So I went over here to this combination and I'm pulling my mid-tone from that one, which is burnt orange. So I'm mixing the burnt orange with the blood diamond instead of the ladybug now. And we're gonna see how that looks. 
and then I want a yellow to add on to that to really give it a really bright pop and so I'm gonna use the yellow sand let's go ahead and lay these down and see what we come up with it's sort of the same idea that I did here but browns mix really well with oranges as well and so I wanted to just kind of show you what else you can mix when you're trying to mix colors that are from different color families. So let's do it with red now. Okay, so that was my blood diamond. And now I have burnt orange. Look how beautiful reds and oranges mix together. And then my yellow sand, and this is such a gorgeous color, this yellow sand. It's just so bright and vibrant and beautiful. But look how pretty these look together. So now you see you can do it with browns where you mix them together with oranges and it's always okay also to take your reds and mix them with oranges. So that gives you two different ideas for your coloring pages when you're putting together your color combinations no matter what pencil set you're using. And when you're pulling colors that are very different into one another or they have much different um, color values, make sure you sort of pull them down into the next color like that and then come back here at the transition line and pull down even more as you're laying this color. And it'll give you a much easier blend of the two colors. But that is how those look. Let's go ahead and lay another layer going the opposite direction and I'm pulling it up as I come into that orange. That red and orange, they blend together seamlessly. They are beautiful. And then here I'm sort of just blending those together as well. So this next one, we're gonna be really daring. This is another blue color combination, but I wanna show you how you could do something really, really cool. You could see I've got this, um, let me put them in the right order. So you could see that I've got this blue daisy, which is a darker, uh, blue and then again I have my denim these are both from Monarch actually they're all three from the Monarch set and then I have this oyster color which is a really pretty highlight color and I have really put these uh, pencils to the test and I'll make sure that video is linked in the upper right hand corner but I did a flower where I blended colors that are just completely different from one another and was able to blend them out and make the blend look just seamless. So I want to show you all in this video how to do that. You know, I, I always say or plan that this video is not going to be a tutorial. And of course, I even have to make a tutorial out of a color combination video. <laughs> But I know that you all appreciate that and I love just giving you all these different types of tips and such. So let's go ahead and lay our blue daisy down. And when I'm doing this, I'm going to use a very light pressure because I want these colors to be able to pull together seamlessly in the end. And I'm gonna show you a little trick on how I'm gonna do that when I get to the transition from this mid-tone or what I'm using as a mid-tone. Now, if you can see before, in the other instances, I used this denim color as my um, highlight color when I used it here as well as when I used it here. But now here, I am using it as a mid-tone, and I just wanna show you that these colors are very interchangeable. So now I'm gonna take this oyster, and I'm gonna start at that transition line, and I'm going to go over the transition line and sort of pull this down into the bottom. Now when you take blues, or really any other color for that matter, and you wanna mix another color into it, and say I was coloring like a flower or something, or maybe like a piece of clothing, and so I just wanted something that was going to really bring it out and make it pop a little bit more, this would work really, really well. And I'm using very light pressure with these layers because I want the um, blend where that transition line is to look seamless. So I'm holding my pencil to the side and I'm sort of coming down and I'm gonna pull this color. I'm not hardly putting any pressure on my pencil as I come into this oyster color because I really wanna make this work and show you how you all can make this work as well. So I'm coming over here over the transition line and I'm just pulling this color down even more. And 
just because two colors are not the same or are not in the same color family, you can still get those colors to work. You just have to work at it a little bit. And this is what my new workbook that I'm getting ready or that I'm working on now that is going to be going up in my Etsy store. This is what my new workbook is going to be all about. It is going to be a completely interactive tutorial workbook where it shows examples and it shows exactly um, how to do it and how I do it and then it's going to have a box next to it for y'all to be able to practice. Now I want to go ahead and lay another layer over here because I want to make sure I've got enough pigment down on the paper and of course you can see the two blues are blending together seamlessly but we've not got a perfect seamless blend down here where we're blending this denim in with the oyster and so you probably need just a little bit more pigment down on the paper at that transition line so that you can come back with the oyster and just continue to keep going over it in a circular motion as you pull down now the trick with budget pencils when you want to do this, look how pretty those colors are together. But when you want to do this, the trick and what I do is I just grab my trusty little white Prismacolor and I start at the top and I go in a circular motion and I just blend all these colors out. Now watch how this just sort of works like magic and just brings all the colors together and pulls them together, getting rid of all of the white of the paper and just really blends those colors out. And you could try this with many different colors. I've also done this with blues and like peachy colors and it always turns out really pretty. Let's talk about our next one. So I have three colors here and like I said, this set the Black Widows specifically have some gorgeous greens and these are all from the Monarch set, as you can see. So I have Sapphire, Peppermint, and Passion and I just wanted to do this color combination because I wanna show you some of the beautiful, gorgeous greens and all the different shades of greens that come in your Black Widow set. If you were to just buy one set and you decided you wanted the Monarch set, I just wanted to be able to show you that you could put some greens together from this set and still get beautiful combinations. So this is my Sapphire. And then my Peppermint. Look how gorgeous that color is. And then this one is gonna put a little bit of a spin on it because this one has a lot of yellow in it, but this is passion. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'm coming back with my second layer. Second layer of the peppermint. That definitely looks like peppermint, doesn't it? And then passion. And this is going to be a bit of a lighter color combination, but look how bright and beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I think I need a little bit more pigment on this one. Oh, how pretty. And then let's do a third layer with this passion color. Here is another one and I just pulled these after looking at my swatch sheet and I put them together and we're gonna see how they look. But this is like purpley and then I've got like my highlight colors a little bit more muted but it's a really pretty color. So we're gonna get the brightness in this case from the midtone, which is going to be really cool. So I've got lavender from the Monarch set, pastel purple from the Scorpion set, and then I have blush from the skin set. So these three are from three different sets. Let's go ahead and lay down our lavender. This is a gorgeous purpley pink color. 
And then my pastel purple, which is going to blend in beautifully with this. These are gorgeous bright colors. And then this blush color is going to tone it down a little bit because it's going to be a little bit more muted, but it's going to mix really well together. Look how pretty that is. So lavender, we are going to do our second layer. And then, oops, pastel purple. These two blend together so seamlessly. Look at that. Oh, this color is so pretty. That one is so pretty. I love it. And see, I just pulled it. Like, I just pulled it. I just looked at the colors. That's why it's always so important to have your colors swatched out on a swatch chart. So you could just look at them and be able to see them. So for this last one, I wanted to put something together that I am going to put a little bit of a spin on it when I get down into the highlight color. And this is going to be a combination of a red and a bright, beautiful pink, as well as this color that is called Tanned from the Scorpion set. And this color is, it has a lot of orange in it. It's kind of like, I don't know, you'll see it when it goes down on the paper, but it's kind of like a peachy orange um, very bright pastel -y color. It's gorgeous. So I've got Ladybug from the Black Widow, Fairy Floss from the Skin, and then I've got Tan from the Scorpion set. So let's lay these down and see how they look. Now I have already used the Ladybug, so we are bringing that one in again. I believe I used it up here, so it's sort of like an orangey red color, and it's really bright and beautiful. So let's go ahead and lay that one down and pull it down into the center to our transition line. And then I've got the Fairy Floss, which I've also already used. I used that one here in this combination. So we're pulling some of the colors we've already used. And like I said earlier, it makes it so easy when you have the visual and you could see when you've already started combining your colors, what you can actually add to it when you pull in your swatch sheet. So now I have tanned and I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to lay that color down but look how pretty so ladybug and we're going to lay our second layer and pull it into that pink and then we've got our fairy floss that i'm going to pull from the transition line down into that uh i don't know what is that like a salmon type color it's gorgeous and then i'm going to come back with my tan that gorgeous color and just add a little bit more of that. But look at these colors, how pretty. I just want to add another layer here because these colors are so bright and vibrant and beautiful and I really want to see what they look like when they're actually down on the paper and blended together nice and smoothly. Look how pretty, oh my goodness. That is a beautiful color combination. Oh my gosh. I think I want to use that for a flower. That would be so pretty on a flower. Okay, y'all. We are done. And we have a completed color combination. A three color blend swatch list of all these beautiful Black Widow color combinations. I am so excited to be bringing you these videos. Like I absolutely love making these videos. I find such joy in them. <laughs> I hope y'all are appreciating them. I'm gonna make all of you all about color combinations so I can get all of you creating <laughs> because it just brings so much joy to the world, I think. Color is just, I don't know, I, I love color. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out a lot. If you have any other suggestions for what other colored pencils you'd like to see, or if you'd like to see me do more with Black Widow, let me know that as well. And I will have everything that you've seen in this video linked down in the description box below. I will have the link down there to my new Etsy store. Please make sure that you do favorite my Etsy shop so that you get notified every time I post something uh, new or put new content in there because 
let me tell you, over time, I am going to have that shop full and you all are going to be loaded with tons of great content. Just wait and see. You think my YouTube is good? <laughs> I'll wait till you see my Etsy shop. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.